Welcome to Darling Adventures. I'm Jenny Saloria and this is First Steps, a series of basic sewing tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you the different parts of your sewing machine so you feel comfortable and confident operating it. So sewing machines are all going to be different, but basically they all have the same parts and usually in the same general vicinity. So I'm going to use this singer to show you the different parts of the machine. Um, but they'll, like I said, they'll be slightly different on yours. If you have the manual, you should be able to figure out exactly um, where your parts are located. Starting from the top, the first part is your spool pin that's here. This is where you're going to put your spool of thread. Next, we're going to move over here to the bobbin winder. And this is a bobbin winder stopper that's going to automatically sense when your bobbin is full. And we'll, don't worry, we'll go over how to wind your bobbin in another video, so make sure you watch that one. Here is your stitch width dial. Um, this is helpful for anything other than a straight stitch, for something that has a width to it like a zigzag. The smaller the number, the, th the straighter the stitch. This is the pattern selector dial. This is going to allow you to choose different stitch patterns. Um, to use on your project. Over here on the side we have the hand wheel. This is where you will manually lower and raise your needle uh, which comes in handy when you are starting and stopping your um, stitches. And You always want to turn this dial towards you. Somewhere on your machine you should have a stitch length dial. Um, here it's marked length and you're going to use shorter stitches or finer fabrics and um, longer stitches for basting and heavier fabrics. So here is your reverse stitch lever. Pushing this down will allow you to reverse your stitches and that's gonna lock in the beginning of your stitch and whatever seam you're working on. All right, next your power switch is probably somewhere on this side over here. Just a little lever to turn on and off. Okay, on the top over here you should have a thread guide of some sort. It'll work both, usually works both as your bobbin thread winder guide and also the guide when you thre are threading your machine. So that's an important part to know. Like the stitch width dial, you also have a tension uh, dial to adjust the tension here in your tension assembly. Right here we have a thread, the thread take up lever. This is controlling the thread when your needle is up instead of the thread just kind of bunching and hanging there. It's taking the thread up and getting it out of your way. So that's the, the thread take up lever. This is your needle. These are interchangeable and you do want to make sure you're using the proper needle for the fabric you're sewing. Right here is your needle clamp screw. So it's going to allow you to change your needles in and out. Near the needle is your presser foot. That is um, this lever back here on the back. It's going to raise and lower your presser foot and that's going to keep the fabric um, going through your machine nice and evenly. One thing to note is that these feet are interchangeable. Here under the presser foot on the bottom side is the feed dog and that is the part of the machine that um, it actually lifts up, it has little spikes on it, it lifts up, grabs the fabric and moves it back for you. So it's doing all of the even moving of the fabric. Between the feed dog and the needle you have this plate here. This is the needle plate. It has these handy dandy guides um, that are going to keep you sewing that nice straight seam allowance. Now we need to get access to the bobbin casing. Under here, we have the bobbin casing. And then finally you have your foot pedal. That's the piece that's going to go on the ground and allows you to control the speed of your sewing um, with your feet. Remember, every sewing machine is slightly different, but they all have the same basic components. The more you know about your sewing machine, the more confident you will be when sewing. Visit darlingadventures.com for more sewing tutorials, videos, and ebooks. Thanks for watching, and may all your adventures be darling adventures.